Hey guys, it's me and Carson. Uh, this is an update video since we haven't put anything on the channel since the uh, two sundowns in the Tercel, which by the way, it's working great. Still haven't welded the brackets, but eh, you know. Anyway, um, he's working on this today. Has been for the last couple days. He uh, was having some problems with it. Yeah, it was uh, making this noise, super annoying little noise that I did not know it was. <clears throat> but I knew it was somewhere in the top end, just like a little clippy clatter. I thought it was maybe valves, so I adjusted valves, it wasn't valves. Man, freaking, what is this? I just, I just kept driving it, hoping that one day it would explode into a million pieces so that I could fix it and know what it was. But uh, the other day I was driving it, it got real cold. It was like negative seven outside. I was like, time to drive my truck, perfect time, you know. It's cold as freaking it can be, snow on the ground, ice everywhere. I'm like, this is gonna be awesome. Now I'm driving, it just starts getting louder, and louder and louder and louder. To where finally it was so loud that I was like, I, I'm done driving this. So I freaking <laughs> drove back, ordered a timing chainsaw, because I thought maybe it was the timing, the front timing gear. Because when I put it on, when I put the new head on, I had to kind of give a little something and tighten the gear to sink it on. Nothing crazy, just more than I was, you know, happy about. <clears throat> so I figured it was that. Uh, so we get, I get, you know, I pull the head off because you, I was, I was like, well, I'm gonna, if I'm doing, someone's calling me, whatever. Uh, like if it's, you know, something in the head, like maybe a valve or a, something, I've got another head, I'll just, Put that other head on there to absolutely 100% eliminate that problem. And uh, so, you know, I get the head off. After I get the head off and everything's off, fall apart, I find, or well, actually, Brandon found uh, the gears. Uh, the front gear here is like chewed up super nasty. Good light on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah there's chewed up. It's not terrible, but there's de it's definitely not right. Yeah, it's definitely. It not definitely good. made some noise. That's that's for sure. And just for clarification, that's this gear here that runs the distributor. That's not timing stuff. Well, I mean, it is, but it's not. You know, the chain doesn't ride on it. Yeah. For all those yeah. people in the last video. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Already know what's coming. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be like, oh. Yeah. What, what I think happened. I'm pretty sure when I had to get a new distributor, I was driving my truck one day, and then suddenly it just like. Started running real rough and then died. I was like, well, this is weird. So I pulled the valve cover off and I looked and the gear on the distributor had slid down the shaft, like down in here. And I think it just absolutely chewed them up when it slid down into here. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I didn't even look at that when I put the new distributor and I was like, mm, dude, you know, now I'm driving it, now it makes a noise, what's going on? <laughs> but, uh, so I'm replacing all that and it's all together. <laughs> Stuff, it's this freaking dumb stuff, man. I hate working on dumb stuff. This is the other head that he took off. That's the one he suspects is potentially making or was making the noise in that engine. Now, one thing I will say is you said that the before you put that on, because that's a performance. It's a the street performer. Yeah. Um, so that's actually like the stage one. It's like half a stage or whatever uh, upgrade for the heads on these. It's aluminum and stuff. And you, you said before you put that one on, it made no noise at all. And then you put that one on and it started making noise. And when we pulled that head off, every piston had just a, like a, just, teeny tiny itty bitty baby place in the tops of them only on the exhaust side which is super weird because it shouldn't have done that i mean everything was in time and just for clarification that head went on after the vegas trip which was like uh i don't know six almost almost a year after the yeah. timing chain how-to video, which, by the way, uh, after that video, he drove it, like, all that year, and then we went to Vegas, like, and it, 
you know, so that yeah. that has absolutely nothing to do with what we're doing. Just yeah. for, you know, to clear that up. Everybody who said, oh God, you're wrong. Yeah, you know, yeah. not mean, necessarily. Just to clarify, it, it, I, I was wrong. It is an interference engine, but the clearances are so like, it's, it's so close to being a non-interference engine that it's not even funny. Like it's, yeah, like, like, like the odds of you bending a valve because you put, you know, boot is like, there's like yeah. a 98% chance you're not going to. Literally. Like, I just, well, you know, like, lucky like six times in a row. Right. And with, with a, with a stock head, nonetheless, with this one, like I said, there's marks on the tops of the pistons where the exhaust valves just barely kiss the pistons, but none of these are bent. None of these valves are bent at all. The, I mean, the pistons are completely reusable, you know, nothing catastrophic. And that's with an upgraded head. It just barely kissed it. So I'm not even sure that with a stock head, I, I mean, could you? The only, the only difference, I'm pretty sure the valve size is the same. They might be like a hair bigger. Like it's, I think it's just got a little more combustion. Right. Yeah, like the teeniest tiny bit. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah. that one, meh. This is all, hopefully, get all this back together and we'll start it. The noise will be gone and everything will be good. And uh, yeah. you'll be able to drive it. Maybe take it on another trip or something. Who knows? Well, we're outside now. Uh, we just got done showing you what's up with the uh, truck of Carson's, that Toyota truck. And now I'm going to show you something that I'm not sure that we've covered on the channel yet. I think it was in the background of one video, and that was the timing chain video. Yeah, and then uh, I think it might have been just casually mentioned. In like yeah, or yeah. Well, no better time than now to uh, introduce to you the the 52, as we all call it. So, we'll, yeah, we'll let Carson tell you what yeah. it is. Yeah, uh, I got the car. Uh, my dad painted the truck for it and he gave like $300 uh, for it back in 2007, I think. And this was to be my first car. Uh, 2013, uh, I was 13 years old. Put a wiring harness in it, got it running. Uh, 2016, I got my permit. It was the first thing I drove. It was a stick shift, uh, three on the column. Uh, then I drove it around for a little bit when I was like 18. I think I drove it for like six months straight one summer. Uh, the inline six was just a little slow for me. It was really slow. It was very slow. And with, with the smaller, the factory tires were like super tall and I put like some 15 inch vet rallies on it. And, you know, lower pro tires so it sat lower to the ground but it also topped out at like 55 absolutely screaming <laughs> uh, so I, I was like that's enough of this I, I ended up with a, an LT1 out of a Z28 Camaro like a 94 uh, I got it all in and like basically ready to go and there was some some dumb issue that I had to where I was like I can't like it's gonna I'm just I'm done with this motor or well let's see what happened now, something. And I ended up selling the motor and transmission. We got like, I, I paid three hundred dollars for the wrecked car that I got it out of, but I sold the motor and trainee for like six hundred bucks. So like I was not upset about it at all. Uh, and then I came across a GS three hundred for a thousand dollars. Pulled the the front suspension, all of it, the freaking brakes, the rear independent unit, everything, wiring harness, front to back. It was an absolute shell of a car by the time I was done. Uh, I paid $1,000 for it. I got $200 for scrap. So I ended up with a 2JZ GE, disc brakes, freaking struts front and rear, a brake booster, a full wiring harness for 800 bucks. And I put the independent unit on the back of my other truck. So I've got like a little I've probably got like six hundred dollars in a two JZ swapped fifty two Chevy, and it's it's getting very close. I'll let Brandon get all up yeah, in there yeah. and show you what's what. Well, let's go look at this. It is kind of dark, and uh, I don't have a flashlight on me, so bear with me. And that that two J is just—I mean, it's tucked in there. 
but this is sitting on all the all the the Lexus stuff. Carson built these. Snout I don't even know if snout, snout bars. Yeah, all this plating and stuff. That's all, from what I understand, is temporary. He's gonna have a guy here in town, I think, clean all that up. All this wiring and stuff is just laying there because uh, he's actually having a running issue with this right now. Uh, he's got an ECU that he bought. It's for the GTE, right? Yeah. Yep. And uh, it doesn't have an immobilizer on it. So this he doesn't need the key fob. So this should just uh, theoretically fire up and run, which it does, but it dies out almost immediately. So if anybody that ever watches this video knows what that could possibly be, yeah. Uh, let us know. Yeah, I'm thinking IACV, math, or fuel. But we've got fuel. We've checked fuel. Yeah. Feels good. Yep. Got this real nice pressure regulator back here. And these, uh, they run 43 PSI. 43, 4, yeah, 43, 44 PSI. And uh, when we fire the fuel pump up, that regulator is dialed into like almost exactly what it needs to be. So we're not really sure. It's, it's definitely not a fuel delivery issue unless the ECU is cutting the injectors or something, but uh, everything is, I mean, this car is super, super, you know, well put together. I like that factory header style exhaust. It's kind of a mess in the cab right now. There's a bunch of wiring harness and stuff in here, and but uh, all the wiring is really nice you see you over there just hanging out <laughs> but literally everything that is not needed to make this engine run is no longer on here bullet get you a nice view of the back of this thing because it's just absolutely fat it is amazing this car sits so much lower than this video makes it look. I, I mean, that, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but. Yeah, almost. I mean, it's just, this car is so cool. And I cannot wait for it to be done. Same. But, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the 52. There will be more on that, I'm sure if uh, Carson ever remembers to uh, film yeah. stuff when he's working on it. Yeah, my problem is I just freaking start doing stuff. Yep, yep, same here. And I get done and I'm like, oh man. Yeah, it's like, get done with a project and we're like, ah, oh, we should have filmed that. Yep. Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching.